Hello everyone, chapter 14, dividends and dividend policy. This chapter, we will see how dividends are paid and what are the determinants of dividend policy of the firm. <clears throat> the typical dividend is paid as a form of cash. The dividends that are regularly paid is called regular cash dividends. Cash payments will be made directly to stockholders, usually each quarter. The dividends that indicate the extra amount that may not be repeated in the future called extra cash dividends. There is dividend that is similar to extra dividend, but definitely on be repeated called special cash dividend. Finally, when some or all of the business has been sold, then it is called liquidating dividend. When a firm make a dividend decision, the board declare the dividend on declaration date, and it becomes a liability of the firm. Then who will receive dividends? If you buy stock on or after X dividend date, you will receive upcoming or you will not receive the upcoming dividends. It occurs two business days before they will be court and stock price generally drops by approximately the amount of dividends. For example, if the current price is $10 and $1 dividend declared, on X date, stock price will drop to $9, which is 10 minus one. On the date of record, holders of record are determined and they will receive the dividend payments and checks are mailed on the date of payments. The most important question we should ask here is whether dividend policy change the firm value. Does dividend policy matter? In theory, dividend policy should not matter since it is a decision to pay dividends versus retaining funds to reinvest in the firm. In theory, if the firm reinvests capital now, it will grow and can pay higher dividends in the future. However, some people urge that it matters since the value of stock is based on the present value of expected future dividends. Let's look at this example. This firm is unlevered and has 100 shares outstanding. Required return is 10% and expected cash flow is $10,000 each year. The firm plans to be dissolved in two years. The firm has two choices. First, it pays a dividend of $10,000 per year for each of next two years, $100 per share, or pays $11,000 this year, raising another $1,000 by issuing stock or bonds, then pay an amount in year two sufficient to provide new shareholders with 10% return. Both plan generate same stock price. First plan generate $100 dividend each year. So the present value is $173.55. With second plan in year one, dividend per share is $110. Then in the second year, only $89 dividend per share. Since $110 dividend will be paid to new shareholders. The present value is the same, 173.55. So in theory, dividend itself does not change firm value. Then why do firms have different dividend policy? There are certain investors who prefer low payout. Individuals in upper income tax bracket might prefer lower dividend payout since divide dividend taxes should be paid. 
Low payout can decrease the amount of capital that needs to be raised, therefore lowering flotation cost. It is also possible that there are debt covenants that may limit the percentage of income that can be paid out as dividends. High payout is favored by these investors. If individuals in lower tax brackets or group that are prohibited from spending principal, such as trust and endowment, they prefer high payout since they have desire for current income. Some people simply prefer current income because of uncertainty of future dividends. For corporation, 70% of the dividend income is excluded. So corporation may prefer high payout stocks. For tax exempt investor, such as nonprofit organization, dividend policy doesn't matter. As shown here, investor will buy stock in a company that meets their dividend preference. This is called clientele effect, clientele effect. For the firms, there are some advantages of paying dividends. Cash dividend underscore good result and provide support to stock price. Dividends may also attract institutional investors due to tax exclusion. Stock price usually increases with a new or increased dividends called signaling effect. Dividends may absorb excess cash and may reduce agency cost. There are also disadvantages. Dividends are taxed to recipients. Dividends can reduce internal source of funding, forcing firm to forego positive MPV project and requiring external finance. Once established, dividend cuts are hard to make without adversely affecting the firm stock price. Pop quiz. The board of directors of the firm has declared the dividends of 250 per share payable on Tuesday, May 30, to shareholders of record as of Tuesday, May 9th. An investor buy 100 shares of the firm on Tuesday, May 2nd, well, $150 per share, fill in the blanks of the question. The amount of dividend that an investor will receive is 250 times 100 equals to $250. On that date, which is two business days before the day of record, Friday, May 5th, the stock price will drop by 250, the amount of dividends. This is the end of the first part. Next part, we will see different forms of dividends.